Hello everyone, Mike1217 here, welcome back to Let's Play Rayman Origins. We are going to do You're on Fire, the second level of World 8. Now, this level is a bit of a pain in the ass. I do not like the first part of it. Second part of it's not too bad, but the first part's a pain in the ass. Because you have you have a red segment, and uh, what makes this really annoying is the fact that everything just blends in. All the obstacles blend in. I'm pretty sure that's what they were going for, but I don't really like the design choice, to be perfectly honest with you. It's just annoying because like you're you know you're sitting there squinting and like trying to tell like what can hurt you and what can't, and I just don't like it. It's just because you know there's a lot of times that you'll die and you won't really realize it, and you will just be like you know like what killed me and I don't know. It's just something you just really have to pay attention. I just don't like it, but we'll we'll get through it. And and only the first parts like this. Uh, eventually we will actually uh, move into ice environment, and that part's a lot easier. It's actually pretty fun, actually, so, yeah. First part of the level I'm not the biggest fan of, and actually what you should be doing at the beginning is actually trying to go fast. It's good to stay ahead of these uh, streams of fire. Like, I fucked up right there. I should have kept going. I held back. Like, right here, you want to get ahead of it. It's, it's hard to explain why, <laughs> but, um... It's just easier to avoid getting hit by them. Because, you know, you beat them, basically. You beat their appearance if you speed up ahead of them. Like, right here, I'm gonna try to do... Oh, shit, am I trapped? Okay, no, I'm not. Good, I was starting to get worried there. Okay. I don't know, maybe I might get... Well, I don't think I'll get through this in one shot. But we, get, did, we did get the hard part in one try, so who knows. I mean, there are some pretty challenging parts in this part of the level, too. Um, we'll see later on. It's actually pretty fun. That's, well, really, it's kind of trial and error. You'll see what I mean. And a lot of this involves breaking ice, and you gotta make sure you break, like, all the ice nests. Well, well you, you don't have to break all the ice. Like, right here, you have to, you have to break both uh, blocks of green there. To actually get through that obstacle. That's annoying, that guy popping around like that. Ugh. Okay, so the ice segment is a checkpoint. So that is good. I mean, that's pretty much expected. It's a massive change of scenery. And that is what the checkpoints are in these stages, are significant changes of scenery. Right there, I think it's better to go underneath. I get this guy up top here. I can never make use. I hate that guy! Oh, I hate him! That's one of the most annoying parts about this segment, is that bouncing guy. But I, I'm never good at m making use of the king lums and their, you know, their double pointed red, red, red lumness. I just can't, I don't know. Like, it, well, in these stages anyway. And, well, really, in general, I'm not very good at making use of them. But, like, with these stages here, you just have to, because they come from enemies. So you really just have to take out as many as you can whenever you uh, uh, have the King Lung activated here. Oh god, it's shooting like crazy, but that actually wasn't too bad. Just hate the bouncing crap. Hate these guys. But so far, so good, I guess. And not too bad. I think that that's yeah. This is a trick one here. You see, uh, oh, it's have to be a monster in the background. Um. I haven't gotten to the boss, again, and this is actually the last world that I practice, or the last stage that I practice. So, I don't know whether or not this guy's going to be the boss of the world, but I guess we'll find out soon enough. So yeah, this is the next really hard part of this stage. Really here is just trial and error. My suggestion would be to uh, stay back on the screen. I was going to say stay up, but no, don't stay at the, at the head on the screen. It's actually... It's actually kind of the opposite. Now that I think about it, the strategy that you use at this part of the stage is the opposite of what you want to use at the beginning. Because at the beginning, in the fire part, you want to stay ahead of the screen and go as quickly as possible. Here, you want to kind of stay back. Because if you're too far up, you will de you're will very likely to get crushed. Because most of the falling obstacles come from the front of the screen. <laughs> right as I said, I got hit by one coming from the back. Of course. 
Yeah, this this part gave me a lot of trouble. But it, it wasn't frustrating like the beginning of the stage was. At least my first time through. This time I was able to make it through in one shot, and I think we're just about done here. Yeah, we're done. Oh, well, I think. <laughs> Maybe not. I'm pretty sure we're close. We should be like right by the exit. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so that is it for what? You're on fire? Oh, I didn't really experience that much fire. I got through that pretty quickly. I guess I am on fire, though. I'm playing so well, huh? Alright, well... So yeah, from this point on, there's gonna be some blindness going here, so I don't know how this is gonna turn out. I, I do like kind of mixing it up, though, with you know some blind levels and some non-blind, but I guess... Eh, in a way, that's kind of not the best decision, maybe, to some people, because the blind levels stick out like a sore thumb, because I'm just a total idiot and going through them. But oh well, like I said, I'm pretty energetic right now, so maybe it won't be so bad. Maybe it'll actually be pretty interesting. So let's see what it is. I might switch characters though, I don't know. Because I think we're going to start getting into blue levels. Oh well, we'll stick with glow box. I think I do like the uh, ice stages in this game. Like, well, I shouldn't say... Let me rephrase that. I will say that I do like the ice stages better than the fire stages in these particular worlds. Just because I don't like the blending in with the fire stages. Ice stages don't really have that. I actually really don't mind the ice physics in this game. Like, usually ice physics can be pretty annoying, but this game, they're not that bad. It's actually kind of fun to deal with. Because, because you know, they make the That was just a bad jump. <laughs> uh, they make the levels... There's a part back there, and yeah, whatever. They make the levels feel more fast-paced. And that's what I like about these. Damn it, that heart goes so far away. I keep thinking it's gonna, like, appear, like, right above where it comes out. Alright. Damn it. Okay, so here we go. Me not, not knowing what to expect. And I, I should have looked at the name of the level. It's always a good idea with games that have, na uh, like, names to their stages to uh, pay attention to the names. Shit. Oh, no, oh, that's a secret. Never mind. I, I, I thought I was going towards where you need to go to uh, progress in the level, but um, I guess I went the right way. So, there we go. An unintentional secret. That's been happening to me a lot lately, actually, when I'm doing the blind levels, is that I'm finding <laughs> cages by accident I don't really intend to. And a lot of the time, I'm finding them w when I'm thinking that I'm going like the right way, and I'm and I'm noticing like a second path that you can go down, and I'm thinking the second path is, you know, the way you're supposed to go to to move on to the. Or, bleh, what am I talking about? What am, what am I talking about? Why do people listen to me sometimes? <laughs> sometimes I wonder if people are even listening right now. It's like if you gave up on me on that last level. I don't know. I think that last level was pretty fun though. Mm, I don't know what to do here. This, this seems like a may. Well, no, you get to take out the enemies, don't you? I mean, you usually do. Oh, shit. Oh god. This is kind of peculiar. Yeah, you do have to take them all. Damn, this is actually pretty difficult. You really need to think this through. This may. This yeah. This level is gonna definitely be the rest of the episode. Um, because I'm going to really need to plan out some of this stuff. You really just need to be not too hasty with your attacking. Try not to do any ground pounds. Can I, like, yeah, I can duck attack. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm going to try to take this slow here. Because I don't want to... Uh, how can I do this without breaking? Can I, like, stop? No, I can't. Okay, so I'm trying to figure this out. I don't really know how you do it. Um... Because if I ground pound, I'm gonna die. Unless I can land on him. Let's try to land on him. Yeah, that's what you're supposed to do. Okay. That's what the tray thing is for. I'm not really sure what those things are supposed to represent. Maybe waiters. I did have to carry trays today because I'm kind of... I'm not really a waiter. I'm just like a server. Uh, okay, go underneath here. I'm gonna break one block above me. Good, good, good. Oh shit, am I gonna fall to my death here? Whoa, I'm hanging- what the hell am I doing? Oh god. 
Okay. Oh, 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 okay. I crushed him. That worked out pretty well. Did I finish it? Okay, cool. I just, you just really need to be careful and be mindful of what you're breaking. And just don't go in there all slap happy and break everything you can like I did when I first went in there. Good lord. Okay. In fact, I don't even think I'll be able to finish this episode, this uh, level in this episode. I'm gonna have to save the rest of it for the next episode. Because it is blind, and I feel like this is gonna be a challenge. That's gonna kill you. Why'd you jump into that? Ooh, I see another way I can go. I'm definitely gonna go up that way. I know I'm gonna die, but let's see what I can do about this. Wait, where am I going? Wait, where was that entrance I was just going for? I do not know. Wait, oh, this leads. Okay, so going up here leads back to the electric cage. I want to go there. How do I move on? Okay, you jump down here. I want to go up that pathway where that tangerine's going to fall out. But I... No, I'm just carefully fly over um Let's see what's up here. This is just too suspicious. It's probably just going to be a coin because I just got a cage. Arr, that was absolutely nothing! Yay for absolutely nothing. Let's just keep going. I'm sure there's probably more down there. I'm tempted to check it out. Like down below, because there's a lime down here. It's kind of interesting. I feel. I'm sorry. I, I, I just have to check this out because. Just, no. I, I, I want to try this. So, usually when there's something in the foreground covering something, there's probably going to be a coin down there. Or maybe just death. Where does the checkpoint going to take me? Okay, that's. I was always wondering, like, whenever you went back through a checkpoint to a previous area and you died in that area, like, where you would turn up. I don't know. Because it almost seems like that would be kind of cheating to do that. But, oh well, whatever. And unfortunately, we have to be small again. This seems like kind of a running theme with this world so far. It's being small. But then again, I think, if I recall correctly, you got that uh, shrinking ability in the in Gourmand Land, the you know, first version of this uh, world. Oh, fuck, man. I want to try to get that. I know there's a... Shit. <laughs> Let's just get out of here. I think I'm going to grow big again, so that's nice. But, damn, there's just so much more to this area. I want to check it out. Like, what the hell is over here? Is it just slums? I wouldn't mind dying, because I want to try to get that coin up there. Uh, shit, run underneath that! No, that was dumb. Okay, well there's one unintentional coin, I don't think I got that earlier. <laughs> I just ran up that wall. Okay, get that, get that, get that, get that! Damn it! Oh, this is a tough situation, jump! Or, I was gonna say, run underneath that, but whatever. Let's go in here and get this. That's actually a pretty uh, easy coin to get too. You have to really improvise this. You gotta be really careful to not break too many blocks, otherwise I don't think you can possibly like screw yourself out of getting some of this stuff. I wanna see if I can get that red lum god slipping and sliding. And that's one thing about the uh, ice mechanics that can kinda get annoying. I don't know how you but what am I gonna get with it? Just a few lums here and there? Shit, I got nothing from that. That was absolutely terrible. Okay, let's try to get this again. Here, I I, I don't mind losing the hit if I can if I can get the coin in the fucking process. Ooh, there, go, go, go. Yeah! There you go. Good 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 job. Good boy. Good boy. That's right, I'm saying good boy to myself. This. I'm sure. Again, I'm curious on what's over to the left there. I guess nothing. I'm not, I'm not gonna fall for it a second time. And now we're small again. The bigness was short lasted, short lived, whatever. And I need to end this episode right here. So, next time on Rayman Origins, we will try to get this electing cage and finish this uh, crazy ass stage in World 8. So, this has been Mike127, and I will see you next time.